In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this glowing moon effect or any planet for that matter using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drone here and as you can see, this is the final output and I think process is a little bit complicated, but anyone should be able to follow it. Okay, then let's go to file menu and open the photo. So go and select the photo, open it. Now before we do anything, I want to crop the photo a little bit. So go to your crop tool and in the ratio, go and make it four by five. This is the ratio that I want. Uh, go and confirm it. Now I'm going to make the model a little bit bigger. So press command T, uh, hold your shift key and make her, sorry, uh, you don't need to hold shift key on this version. <laughs> so I'm going to go and keep the model somewhere around here. Then go and confirm it. Now let's add the photo of moon. Uh, for that, go to file, place embedded, uh, and then select the moon photo or any plan planet photo that you wanna use. I'm gonna go and confirm it. Now to make the selection super easy, just go here and select your marquee tool. Uh, and when you do it, hold shift key for this one. Uh, then right click and select transform selection. Uh, and put it in the middle here and make it big enough so it covers the moon. I think this is good enough. Go and confirm it. And then you can apply the layer mask. So only the moon is visible. Uh, now I'm gonna go and adjust the moon right on top of the ball. And for that you can reduce the opacity so you can see uh, uh, it properly. Then get your move tool. I'm gonna move it here. Then press command T. Uh, and then you can adjust it exactly where you want. If you're not sure, just make the moon a little bit bigger than the ball. So any part of uh, balloon or ball, whatever she's holding is not visible. I'm going to go and make the opacity 100% again. So now the placement looks decent, but we need to mask out model and the hand. So it looks like uh, it's under the model. And for that, again, <laughs> it is the opacity. So we can see uh, the model properly. Then you have two options. If you know how to use pen tool, make selection and then you can erase it. Otherwise, you can get your brush tool and make sure you have black color here, opacity 100, right click and keep the hardness somewhere around like 60, 70%. And then you can manually go, uh, make sure you're painting on layer mask, okay? Then make the brush a little bit smaller and then you can erase it like it manually, okay? This is one option. But if you know how to use pen tool, then I highly recommend using it. So get your pen tool and then make selection uh, like this. Once you are done using pen tool, you can press command enter and it will turn that into a selection. Then you can, as always, get your brush tool and paint with black color and it is the portion of moon. And then to remove the selection, you can go to select and deselect. So any way you prefer, you can do it. So I'm going to go and do the same thing with hand. So the selection is done. Now you can go and make the opacity back to 100%. And now it looks like that the moon is between, like model is holding moon. It looks fake because we don't have any color correction or anything yet, but this is how you do it. And take your time so your selection looks at least better than me. <laughs> I guess this is acceptable. <laughs> let's let's just move on to the next step. Now, before we apply any glow effects to the moon, we need to make the background darker. Otherwise, it's pointless. We won't be able to see, any, uh, see anything. So select layer zero, then go to your adjustment layer. And here you have to go and select curves. In the curves, do nothing. Just make it a little bit darker. Make sure that the curves is under the moon, okay? So I guess this is enough contrast. Then go and close it. After that, again, go to your adjustments and this time get a hue and saturation. Now here, uh, go to your, come here. Okay, 
now go to your lightness and make it somewhere around 75 to minus 80 or something as you can see now the moon is popping out looks unrealistic but you get the idea what i'm trying to do uh, so i guess minus 78 is okay whatever now of course uh, the portion near the moon like the uh, the face the hand they will be like glowing so we can't make that dark uh, so make sure your brush is selected here you have black color opacity 100 but this time right click and make sure hardness is 0% extremely important <laughs> make sure hardness is 0 and make your size bigger uh, actually a lot bigger than this this is enough and in the opacity actually try start with 40 or 50 percent because 100 can be too much so i'm gonna try with like uh, 60 70 percent and then start erasing portions from the hand like this uh, and then also a little bit from the face and once you get further uh, i recommend that you reduce the opacity to like 20 30 percent and then make the brush slightly bigger and then you can erase stuff like this and if you make any mistakes you can always come back here and adjust it it's not a big deal now we need to apply some layer styles on the moon layer and for that activate your moon layer uh, here right click and select blending options and first of all let's apply gradient overlay already looks pretty good but this is not what we are looking for uh, so in the gradient go and select your standard black and white gradient hit ok and make it reverse uh, after that, uh, in the blend mode, turn it to soft light, make the opacity all the way to 100%. Uh, and in the angle, go and make it to minus 9. Now the scale is way too big, so you cannot see anything, but keep it to 40 to 50%. And you can see that this portion is darker and this one here is brighter. So as you can see, this gives more depth to the moon. It looks more like a sphere and less like a plate. Gradient is done, now I'm gonna apply outer glow. So click on the outer glow, and here in the color, make sure it's absolutely white, opacity 100, blend mode screen. Uh, in the spread, I'm gonna keep it two pixels, and in the size, I'm gonna make it 92. So nine and two. So it has this really nice glow around it. We also get a little bit glow on the hand. Then go and select your inner glow. In the inner glow, again, keep it completely white, hit okay. But here in the blend mode, go and keep it to soft light. Uh, opacity again, 100. The choke should be zero and size should be 188. So we have this really nice inner glow as well. And that's pretty much it. You can go and hit OK. So this is with layer, sorry, without the effects. And this is with the effects. Uh, the hand right now, it looks a little bit weird. But once we apply all the glow and everything, it will look better, I promise. Now let's start working with the shadows because uh, we don't have any contact shadow between hand and the moon or face and the moon. For that, create new layer and you can rename it to big contact shadow. Uh, then right click and create clipping mask. So whatever we paint will only stay on the moon. Now shadows are generally black. So I'm gonna keep it to black. And in opacity, uh, 30 is actually not bad. I'm going to try with 25 though. Uh, then with a super, super soft brush, you can start painting here like this. So first of all, these are really big ones. Don't worry about it. And it's already way too strong. So I'm going to keep the opacity to 50% or something. We can increase it later. But right now, let's keep it 50. Okay. Now I'm going to do some detailed shadows. For that, again, create new blank layer, rename it to uh, small contact shadow. And just like last time, right click and create clipping mask. Uh, this time, brush will be slightly smaller. Not too small though, okay? Uh, for the face part at least. Then you can go and start paint here like this. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, uh, we have this really nice contact between model and the moon. And once we add all the glow effects, the shadows will look better. So let's start with the glows. First of all, I'm going to create again new layer, uh, but this time uh, no clipping mask. Okay. And in the color, usually uh, white would be fine, but I wanted to add some kind of hue to it. 
So go to your color box and here you will have to type this code. It's FBF7D3. So it's slightly yellowish white color. Uh, hit OK. First of all, I'm going to keep the size somewhere around here, this big. And also make sure that the opacity is 100% and then do a click. Uh, go to your blending options and turn it to screen. Uh, take your move tool and move it a little bit around here like this. Now we need to make multiple copies of it. But before we do that, let's rename the layer to glow so we don't get confused. Okay, now let's make a copy, command J. Then take your move tool and center it this time. Then press command T and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So hold your option key and make it bigger from every side. And in old version, hold your option and shift key, okay? Then make another copy. So command J and one more copy. I know it sounds too much, but we'll adjust things later. So again, command J, then press command T and I'm gonna make this one even bigger. So as you can see, brightness is obviously a little too much, but that's not a problem. Select your glow copy three, hold your shift key and click here on the glow. All of them are selected, then press command G. So you have glow in a separate group. Now you can just reduce the opacity to control how strong do you want the glow to be. So as you can see, this one looks okay. And another thing, I believe that uh, in the outer glow, uh, the opacity is a little too much. So we can go and reduce it. So it's not very distracting. Then go and hit OK. Now here's the problem. There's just way too much glow on the hand and I would like to reduce that. For that, uh, we need selection of it. So hold your command key and do a click on the layer mask of this moon layer here. So it will do a selection. Then you can go to select and inverse. So basically everything outside is selected. Then get your brush tool. And in the opacity, keep it like 30-40% uh, and glow is here, right? So make sure the layer mask of the group is active, the glow group. Then you can go and do some clicks and reduce the glow from here. Then to remove the selection, you can go to select and deselect. So the selection is gone. I guess we can erase a little bit more. So I'm going to keep the opacity to maybe 12%. And then it is a little bit from the fingers as well. So all the glow effects are done. Now I'm going to show you how to add in the stars. For that, go to file and again, place embedded. Select image of the stars, go and place it. This should be right on top of your glow, the group one, and then confirm it. Then go to your blend options here and select color dodge. Now, of course, it looks way too crazy right now, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. Uh, get your move tool and move it around exactly where you want it. Then apply a layer mask and get your brush tool. In the brush, make sure opacity is 100% uh, and keep it big. And then erase it from where you don't need it. Once you have erased everything, you can adjust it easily. Just unlink the mask from here. So unlink it, then activate your image, get move tool, and then you can move it around. Once you're done with everything, we actually need to make it black and white. I don't want color here. Uh, for that, go to your adjustment layer here, and then you can select hue saturation. Uh, turn on the clipping mask so it will only affect the stars, the layer below it. And then in the saturation, keep it zero. See? Easy. And if it's too much, you can go and reduce the opacity to like 75% or something. I guess uh, 85 is much better. Looks good. Now let's add one final color correction layer. For that, go to your adjustment panel and here select curves. In the curves, make a dot here and then make it dark slightly, not too much, or it will look patchy. So this looks good. And then lift this point from here. So shadows are a little bit faded and it's not way too dark. So a little bit here, there, okay, looks decent. Then you can go to your blue option here and increase the slider from here. So add a slight amount of blue, 
and then increase this one here to add slight amount of yellow. So the color contrast, sorry, the tone of the image looks a bit more warmer. As you can see, because of this glow layer, the background is a little bit visible, which I don't want. Uh, for that, it's easy to fix. Select this uh, hue saturation layer and create new blank layer on top of that. So it should be under your moon, but on top of your model. After that, uh, rename it to... Then in the color, uh, select a completely black color. Uh, and the opacity should be, I don't know, 40-50%. Uh, keep the brush big like quite big and then start painting here so as you can see the area that is little too much visible is going away and we can sorry don't paint on the model by mistake uh, keep it under the moon only so the moon has a lot more definition now compared to before and if you little like I recommend that you paint a little bit more than you need because you can always reduce the opacity later so this is done. Now you can adjust the opacity uh, however you like. So I guess 80% looks really nice. So this is before patchwork and this is after patchwork. As you can see, uh, looks a lot more cleaner. Now the final step is actually you go back and adjust everything as you like. Um, you can like do this all day. That's the point. <laughs> So this was the process uh, and I hope you create something different. The reason why I'm telling you all this is that you can use any other planet uh, with this method. So instead of moon, you can use earth as you can see in this example. And when you apply the glow, uh, instead of using yellow color, you can use a blue color that goes with the planet. Uh, and in the stars, I didn't make them black and white this time. And the rest uh, is actually kind of same. Uh, maybe a little bit color correction to make image more blue and that's pretty much it This is the final output and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video And if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions You can feel free to ask me in comment section below uh, If you want to check out more videos by me, you can click on any of these boxes uh, And you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop